Okay. Now, what we are going to discuss is allocations between cost centers. There are different ways to allocate costs between cost centers. And why do we do this? Because you have to distribute expenses and get it absorbed at the material level, at the production level, on the production order, at the cost center level, at the material level. Okay. So these allocations are important and we have to come across at many levels. And when we're talking about absorption, of course, it also means that we include it in bills of material and routing as well. So there are four types in allocations distribution. This is used for allocating primary costs. Primary means which is coming from finance side, from a file. And cost elements, primary cost element, which is GLs. Okay, primary cost element category zero one are used for this distribution. There is a detailed uh, line item uh, details are available at the cost element level, and this is used for planning actual and uh, use for uh, plan cost and actual cost. Plan cost, basically what you actually will make and compare it with actuals. Detail and analysis available at sender receiver cost center. So what is sender cost center sending to the receiving cost center will be available through distribution. Periodic reposting, again, periodic means at the month end, okay? It's similar that it distributes primary costs and use it uses primary cost element, that is GOs, and breakup is available for every line item. And this is used for recording actual cost. That is only different. Distribution, you have planned and actual. In periodic reposting, you have actual only, the receiving end. So receiving cost center reports will show what distribution or reposting has been done. Assessment, basically, it uses primary and secondary costs. Now, secondary costs are within CO, okay, within uh, the controlling area domain, not from finance. So anything that is related to product costing will be going through assessment, okay? Secondary cost elements, these are used, which have the category assessment, which is 41 or 42. And data is summarized, no, no line item detail. It's only summarized on the assessment cost elements. And it's also used for plan and actual cost. Indirect activities, it's for allocating activity, like man hours, machine hours, okay? Be allocated from calculating hours, on the cost centers. Secondary cost element, which is internal allocations are used. So we have an internal allocation. Data is summarized, and this is also used for plan and actual. So two basically allocations are using secondary cost elements and primary, okay? While the other two are using primary cost elements, okay? That is important to understand. Distribution used if center cost element is important for cost analysis. This use if center just is just a cost collector cost center. As we saw in the last lecture, common cost center is used. So it is used to justify account assignment during FI posting. This is common cost centers. So distribution creates more number of line items, and this creates less number of line items, okay, which is reposting. So this is easy, easy concepts. In direct activity allocation, we have made these cost centers, body shop, assembling, paint shop, will have to make cafeteria, cost collector, plant maintenance, quality control, plant admin. And these are the categories we'll assign to these cost centers. In assessment, cost center cafeteria is used by other cost centers. Okay. So cafeteria is being used by departments like body shop department, assembling, paint shop. Okay. So they are actually using cafeteria for lunch for breakfast. So certain percentage will be assigned to body shop assembling and paint shop. So cafeteria charges will be allocated based on number of employees. That is the statistical key figure, the metric, the measurement. The measurement yardstick is the uh, statistical key figure. So cost center cafeteria will actually distribute based on 
these percentages. Okay, number of employees. This is the metric yardstick. Periodic reposting. To simplify, to simplify FI postings, we use a common cost center. And that common cost center will distribute the rent and electricity charges on these cost centers from the cost collector. Okay. Distribution. Now, distribution basically has seen. Now, there is a cost center plant admin takes care of three production cost centers. Okay. Three production cost centers are paint shop, body shop, assembling, right? So, costs like salaries of administration, stationary, vehicle maintenance, travel expenses are recorded uh, in the cost center. And we will use distribution to allocate costs to three production cost centers. Okay. Salaries are to allocate based on number of employees. Stationary charges are allocated based on percentage basis. So what is the percentage basis? Now, these are the employees. And this is percentage basis. Vehicle maintenance, again, on percentage basis. And travel expenses, also on percentage basis. Indirect activity, basically, it gives the quality control cost center will actually charge these production cost centers based on quality check service, quality check of the production. So and during quality check, during quality check, it will be based on testing hours. Now, counting the items will require time, and it is allocated to three cost centers. The quantity of testing hours is allocated based on number of tested items. Okay. So, test hours will correlate with number of tested items. So, allocated activity is testing hours, and allocation basis is. Activity type is test hours. How many hours have been spent in counting quality checks? And allocation basis is test items. Okay. So there are two things. Activity type, hours. And allocation basis is test items. So hours will be assigned to cost centers. Okay. And using indirect activity. Now this is indirect activity. How many items were counted during these test hours? And that will be distributed to the cost centers. Direct activity. Now, plant maintenance, it gives maintenance service to three production cost centers. Activity type maintenance hours is allocated to production cost centers. Actual quantity of maintenance hours recorded at receiving cost center when the services are consumed. Allocated activity type is maintenance hours. Allocation method is direct activity. So, in indirect, you have testing items. Testing items plus activity hours. So you actually calculate the cost of the activity type before distributing on cost centers, but in direct activity, you just count the hours and distribute it to cost center. That's it. Okay. Allocation by assessment using SKF. Assessment is primary and secondary cost element, plan and actual, okay, and assessment category cost element. So SKF statistical key figures is used as basis to allocate cost from one cost center to the other. If total number of employees in three cost centers is 300, cafeteria charges are to be shared between three cost centers based on number of employees. Okay. So these are 300 employees. And based on that, cost centers recorded by cafeteria. So these are salaries and rent. And total cafeteria charges are 72,000. And we will distribute it on these cost centers. Okay. Based on the SKL. So the formula that will be used for allocation number, number of employees per cost center. Divided by total number of employees, the total amount. Total amount is this. Okay. So a cost allocation for cost center 101 is 75. We have 75 for 101 cost center divided by 300, which is total employees, and total is 72,000, and 18,000 will go to 101. Okay. The pending amount is 18 for 101, 6,000 for 102, 48 for 103. And this will be credited. This will be created at sending amount, sending cost center. And the cost, secondary cost element that we'll use is which category? Assessment category, because it says assessment. Okay. So summary that we'll have is salaries 45,000 distributed, 27,000 for rent. And at cost center, cost element level, we'll have the detailed analysis available. 
okay, at constant level 2. Okay, so balance will have maybe 0, and total allocation will be 72,000. I hope this concept is clear. We'll do it in the next lecture. Right now, 